Hello, I'm Allison T, and I'm introducing the project I've been working on this summer. Easy Diver 2.0 Easy Diver stands for Easy Pre-Processing and Dereplication of In Vitro Evolution Reads. In short, it is a tool that analyzes data from in vitro experiments. Scientists use in vitro evolution to find the perfect molecule from a massive pool. Imagine you're searching for a specific needle in a haystack, except the needle is a molecule that can treat diseases, create stronger crops, and more. Scientists can selectively evolve a molecule with desired traits through successive rounds of experiments. These experiments involve millions of DNA and RNA sequences, so a tool like Easy Diver is needed to make sense of the data. An Easy Diver performs tasks like synthesizing the various reads and efficiently computing the distribution of sequence lengths and counts. Easy Diver 2.0 includes all of the functionalities of Easy Diver, but introduces additional features in a user friendly visual interface. Here's it in action. The main menu features options to pre process experiment data with base Easy Diver, calculate abundance and enrichment stats which are metrics of relative sequence prevalence, and various quality of life tools that involve visualizing data and exporting the output files to a spreadsheet. This is a quick demo of running EasyDiver. You can modify how EasyDiver processes your data by selecting various options. This allows you to tweak different fields to your liking. Notice that the output files are stored in the folder named Demo. The script is also available to run in the terminal for more detailed progress messages. Calculating enrichment stats is a new feature of EasyDiver 2.0. The program supports multiple experimental setups, and in addition to the default round outputs, stats can be calculated on negative control and or input reads. Confidence intervals are also shown for the abundance, frequency, and enrichment values. Finally, the program can visualize experimental information with graphs like histograms, scatter plots, and line charts. And there's the option to convert the enrichment text file shown earlier to an easier to manipulate spreadsheet. New features and improvements are still being made. To learn more, check out the EasyDiver GitHub pages and stay tuned.